Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. Today I decided to show you some of my boots for this winter because here was a crazy winter for the last few days. In Spain we don't get to see this kind of snow very often and I will gonna start with some info about all these boots. They had been chosen random, some of them they are very expensive and others they are quite inexpensive. This is the prices that they have, some of them they are very affordable others not so much and please remember they can change all the time and finally the sizes of these boots my regular size in boots is 41 and not all of them they are true to size and we start with the first pair which is the cheapest one in the picture you can see the price and the date this pair of boots, they have very simple style and I usually use them with a black leather jacket. Although they are in size 41, they fit a bit more relaxed. So if you can, you can size down half size, but sometimes they don't have half sizes, so you have to stick with your size. The interior is lined with some textile material and they are quite okay for the price. This pair is one of my oldest pair that I have in my collection. Here is not my entire collection obviously, but, but this one did get a lot of views. The only thing that I had to replace on them was the laces. This particular pair I usually use it in the rainy days actually with a leather protector. And now some on-fit shots. About the comfort of these boots, I would say it's quite okay. It's not the worst from this uh, bunch of boots that I have here, so that's a good thing. Although you might not be able to find this particular model, but they are other similar, so I think this uh, review will help you to discover some different brands. The next pair will be the most used pair in cold weather. This boot that I have right now on my hand, it wasn't greased like I usually do it because I wanted to show you how it looks after using it without adding again grease. Here we can see that half of the sole has some uh, stitching and that in theory should add some extra longevity to these boots. I wish that this particular uh, Panama Jack boots would have uh, some below stung. Unfortunately, they don't have it, but still they are good enough. The sheep skin lining makes them the warmest boots that I have. They have models with Gore-Tex interior, but I don't recommend them because they don't have any insulation like Prima Loft inside for the winter, obviously. For the spring and autumn will do the job. This is the jar of grease that I always use it on them every time I'm taking them out and that happens mostly in places with snow. I added here the price, this is roughly the price. This jar will be enough for 6-7 times depending on, on the size of the, your boots obviously. The sponge came with the kit. Here we can see some unfit shots with these boots.
because of the lining I think these ones they have the best comfort of all of them or one of the best. I would like to point out that in this shot the left foot is the one without grease and the right one is greased already so this is the change of the color more or less And now the pair that stays most of the time on my feet this winter is this particular pair, it's from Kenneth Cole. Uh, I had to make some DIY because those double um, eyelet hooks were giving me so much pain, so I had to do something. And because I like it so much, this model, this hiking model, I couldn't give them back, I simply wanted to keep it. As you probably already noticed, they have that uh, below stung, which I really like it in all my boots. If it's possible, I would like to have it. Here you can see the interior and the poor job I did with that uh, DIY, but at least you cannot see it too much on exterior. And because of this, I can still use them uh, all the time without any problems anymore. The interior of these boots has some nice padding and I think it's one of the the best comfort I have in all of them. This along with Panama Jack that it has some fur inside. This is how it looks, the sole after some intensive use over these three years. Here are some on-fit shots and I wish that all the hiking boots won't have those uh, hooks with double eyelets. They are so annoying and painful to use. Maybe at some point I will redo that uh, DIY job and make it a bit better. And now usually I have the jeans over the boots not like in the video because here I wanted to be able to see it a bit better how it looks but I usually don't wear them this way It sound right boy
white boy. Here we have the red wing boot. I usually use them when when it's not too cold outside. In winter depends. If it's not too cold and it's not raining or snowing, yeah, I can wear them without any issues. But in spring in and autumn, I will definitely rock them most of the days. This pair has a half below stung, which is useful enough this way. What this pair lacks is some padding inside and some lining. Although the comfort inside is quite good actually. I really like that uh, leather insole. some on-fit shots with them. This pair is the most difficult to get in and out from all of them because they don't have lining inside and that raw leather doesn't help too much. Here I have the J Crew uh, boots. This one is the newest in my collection. I really like it. I have used it so far for a few times. Here you can see the prices and the date when I buy them. Starting with this boot, uh, the rest of them will be the same a bit more stylish and a bit more expensive at the same time. This one wasn't too expensive because I had the luck to find them under 100 euros or around 100 dollars. So this is great. I really like the lighting from this boot. It's very soft. It has some padding inside and it's a bit more uh, comfy than I was expecting to be, to be honest. This pair has a 360 degrees stitching, so this is a Goodyear weld sole. This aspect I really like it on in all my boots. I always searching for this thing. I wasn't expecting on these boots to have water repellent uh, properties, but while I was cleaning the sole with an older toothbrush, I discovered that that water was running over the surface, so that was a nice find. Here we have the on-fit shots.
These boots, I will say they are true to size, same as uh, Red Wing for me. The comfort inside is, is good, it's not the best I have in other boots, but still for two or three hours to walk with them, you will be okay, I think. Here we have the Merming boot, this particular model they don't do it anymore, but they have other very similar. These boots are a bit more uh, dressier than the others that we see so far. Again these boots they have 360 degrees stitching, so it's a good ear weld, uh, very good quality I would say for the price. This pair has a Dynite sole that it did last very well over the time, they have 3 years and something now. I didn't use it as much as others because they are a bit more dressier, so they have a leather lining, same as J Crew and uh, Kenneth Cole like we've seen so far. The comfort I will say is just okay. They don't have any padding, so that's a bummer. Here you can see that those speed hawks they are hidden inside, which is a good thing, will protect your feet about the sizing as you can see on the inside with this pair i had to go half size up because they are a bit smaller than others so instead of 41 i had to choose 41 and a half or 8.5 in us Here we have some on-fit shots with them.
and finally we have the last part of this video as you probably expect this is the most expensive pair i have as the last two pairs these ones of course they have goodyear weld 360 degree stitching they do have this uh, victoria rubber sole about the sizing i would say that these ones they fit a bit bigger than most of the boots that i tried so far because of the last which is solar makes them look a bit more pointy than others that i have about the sizing this one is size 41 and 8.5 in us so they fit me like 41.5 i would say or a bit more relaxed than others because of that i will recommend to go half size down if you want about the price if it's justified or not i guess it's depending on you what you expect from this kind of boot and what you wish for that price for me the build quality of these boots which are made in Cordovan leather, I would say is great, but they are not perfect as you might expect. I have a high thin step and because they don't have any padding inside or at least on the tongue, they did dig it on my skin. So I had to look for another laces and these particular ones that I have now here, they are quite okay. I will say with this one, I can wear them without complaining myself. I think that all the boots that they have this kind of price they should have some padding on the tongue it's just common sense and a form of respect for the customers to be honest because of this problem i almost every time i have to wear them with thicker socks just to avoid that pain on my instep Here are some on-fit shots with them. I think they look very classy. I like them very, very much. The shape is just amazing, to be honest. And I can only hope that in the future they will make some changes with that tongue and maybe they will improve the comfort for them.
for those that they are still here thank you very much for watching see you next time i hope you enjoyed this uh, long video please don't forget to subscribe it means a lot to me